At the nation's capital this afternoon, D-Day veterans gathered at the World War II Memorial to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the invasion. Standing alongside the veterans and their families were the descendants of President Dwight D. Eisenhower and President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Eisenhower's granddaughter read the orders that he God issued that sir. day, and Toby Roosevelt read a D-Day prayer written by his great-grandfather, President Franklin Roosevelt. Those who actually remember the Normandy invasion are fewer in number every day. But their bravery and their contributions were being remembered all around the country today, including right here in Iowa. In the relative quiet of a room at the Iowa Veterans Home in Marshalltown, the chaos of 70 years ago is remembered with speeches and music. Firsthand, it's remembered only by a very few. Like Freddie Lindsay, on June 5th, he was listening to Eisenhower joke about his wedding. But later that night, Freddie would head out to land before dawn at Utah Beach in Normandy and clear away underwater obstructions. They just blowed us all to hell, all of our little old boats. And the weather was as much of an enemy as the Germans. Only 12 of us out of a, a 160 or 70 got, got, got away. They tried to get the rest of them, but the, the waves and stuff was too bad. Freddie has told many stories many times of how the engineers made something out of nothing. We had to, to unload ships oh, where there was no port. We made the port. That was the interesting part of the, the war from my standpoint. There. As for Les Graham, he arrived in Normandy 10 days after D-Day. It was a different time back then. War was much lonelier. No cell phone. We didn't have any contact with him whatsoever. Wounded near Cherbourg in a shootout with Germans in a pillbox. And then they opened up on us, the ones that went around the right, so from another pillbox down the line. But like so many, Les hasn't wanted to talk about it for a long time. And I wondered why. It just didn't seem like I uh, treated like yourself a hero. It wasn't, it wasn't that way. My kids still don't, can't talk to me about it. Mm -hmm. Is it hard to talk about? Yes, it is. Why? I don't know. I think it just uh, it, uh, People look at you as a hero. You thought you did something great. I was just there doing my part.